Hi, I'm Sherry Stump. Thank you for joining me today. I'm reading from the devotional book, God's Amazing Grace by Ellen White. Today's reading is November 8 on page 320. The title of today's devotion is Peace Restored. In Colossians chapter 1 and verse 2, it says, Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ is the Prince of Peace, Isaiah 9, 6, and it is His mission to restore to earth and heaven the peace that sin has broken. Being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, Romans 5, 1. Whoever consents to renounce sin and open his heart to the love of Christ becomes a partaker of this heavenly peace. There is no other ground of peace than this. The grace of Christ received into the heart subdues enmity. It allies strife and fills the soul with love. He who is at peace with God and his fellow men cannot be made miserable. Envy will not be in his heart. Evil surmisings will find no room there. Hatred cannot exist. The heart that is in harmony with God is a partaker of the peace of heaven and will diffuse its blessed influence on all around. The spirit of peace will rest like dew upon hearts weary and troubled with worldly strife. Christ's followers are sent to the world with the message of peace. Whoever, by the quiet, unconscious influence of a holy life, shall reveal the love of Christ, Whoever, by word or deed, shall lead another to renounce sin and yield his heart to God is a peacemaker. The spirit of peace is evidence of their connection with heaven. The sweet savor of Christ surrounds them. The fragrance of the life, the loveliness of the character reveal to the world the fact that they are children of God. Men take knowledge of them that they have been with Jesus. Goodness and righteousness will be seen. The quiet, inward experience will make the life full of godliness, faith, meekness, patience. This is to be our daily experience. We are to form characters free from sin, characters made righteous in and by the grace of Christ. Thank you for being with me today. Please join me tomorrow when we'll read about Union with Christ. And may God bless you abundantly above all you can ask or think.